happy Saturday, I hope church sitting for and hope you've been enjoying your week of prayer and I hope you've been receiving from the Lord as you've been seeking his face. Today our title that we're focusing on is seeing people saved and what an amazing time to pray about that today. And we're reading from the devotional that we'll be reading from uh, most of the week and the title is God's will to save and we're looking at Luke 15 verse 7 which says, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner will repent than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Isn't it beautiful that the whole of heaven rejoices when one sinner repents? So when we got saved, when you got saved, when I got saved, heaven rejoiced over that. This is what the text says. God's will is to save us and nothing pleases him more than our coming back to him with true repentance. The heralds of truth and ministers of divine grace have told us this from the beginning, repeating it in every age. Indeed, God's desire for our salvation is the primary and pre preeminent sign of his infinite goodness. Precisely in order to show that there is nothing closer to God's heart than this, the divine word of God the Father, with untold humility, lived among us in the flesh, suffered and died he said all that was necessary to reconcile us to God the Father when we were at enmity with him and to restore us to the life of blessedness from which we had been exiled. He healed our physical infirmities by miracles. He freed us from our sins, many and grievous as they were, by suffering and dying, taking them, them upon himself as, he, as if he was answerable for them, though he was sinless himself. He also taught us in many different ways that we should wish to imitate him by our own kindness and genuine love for one another. So it was that Christ proclaimed that he had come to call sinners to repentance, not the righteous, and that it was not the healthy who required a doctor, but the sick. He declared that he had come to look for the lost ship that was lost and that it was to the lost sheep of the house of Israel that he had been sent. Speaking more obscurely in the parable of the silver coin, he tells us that the purpose of his coming was to reclaim the royal image which had been coated with the filth of sin. I just think how amazing it is that you know the desire of God is to see souls saved, is to see are saved this is to see others saved as well and i believe that is hope church's desire as well and i just took a few points out of that that we can pray on you know it says that god's will to save you know it pleases him it, that's what pleases god the most and i just want us to pray that you know lord you know let it be what pleases me the most as well just as it pleases you to see, see souls saved let it be what i desire let it be what pleases me as well and it says that we are heralds of truth of the of the word of god as well we are also heralds of the truth we are called to preach the gospel so i want us to pray that the lord will give us the grace to be the true herald of truth to really preach the gospel to preach the truth wherever we go to wherever we find ourselves as well and it says that that's why the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us to restore and free us from sin that's why jesus came that's why you know he he left his full divinity he left it on in in heaven and he came here as a man fully human fully god to see us saved and that's what jesus came for to restore us and to free us from sin so i just want us to pray that we would see others restored and freed from sin we will see sitting board restored and freed from sin we will see our family members we'll see our neighbors we'll see our nation free from sin and restored back to 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 the lord and it says here that we should imitate him by a kindness and genuine love for another to see them saved. You know, it's when we love our neighbours, it also means that we want to see them saved. I, love for them should mean that we want to see them saved. So let us just pray that, Lord, let our love for, for you and our love for our neighbours lead to us wanting to see them saved, lead, lead to us sharing the gospel with them as well. And I just want us to pray that, you know, let God's kingdom come 
his kingdom come his will be done and what does that mean it means for for jesus to be king over people's hearts so let's just, just pray that you know jesus be king over our hearts be king over our neighbor's hearts over people at our workplaces be king in their hearts show yourself to them reveal yourself to them that they may know you let's let us also pray that there will be a revival in the land as well there'll be a revival in sitting but a revival in churches all around and as that revival flows we see many come to the knowledge of christ let us pray that you know that the word of God will spread round Sittingbourne and the and Kent and UK like wildfire and we'll truly see a harvest coming. Amen. Have a wonderful day and I hope that as we go out on the streets today, we will see souls saved. We will see many listen to the word of the Lord. We'll see many listen to the truth as we go out as heralds. We shall see Sittingbourne saved. Sittingbourne shall be saved. Amen.